Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I know we are a little bit behind trying to catch up. We have so much work, you guys. Anyways, if you guys are interested in any of the services that I provide or any personal consultations, readings, or spell work, you can find all of that on the description box below, as well as shadow work, uh, any of the books that we have, you can find all of those links below. Um, let's get into the reading. We're going to begin here with Aries, which is, uh, Aries is one of the signs that is going to be massively impacted this solar eclipse that we're going to be experiencing on April 8th, 2024. As you guys know, eclipses are major celestial events. Um, we are being pushed and propelled towards our destiny, towards what our path should be. Uh, that's what eclipses do. So around this time, pay a lot of attention to the people that are going out of your life or pulling back or falling off the map and the ones that are coming in because every time there's an eclipse, if there is a new person coming in or a new energy, this is something that you need to embrace, okay? Now for Aries, one of the things um, that we did predict for January 2024 uh, predictions was learning to tap into your softer side, learning to be vulnerable. And this is what uh, this eclipse is going to be highlighting for a lot of you guys. It's going to be about paying attention to what is triggering you right now. What are, what are the triggers and the anger that comes from those triggers? Uh, it's asking you to pay attention to, are you reacting based on emotion? And if so, what can you do to help soothe that so that you don't react very aggressively. Doesn't have to be physical, you guys. This could be defenses mechanisms that come up. This could be, um, you know, and there's something connected to shame for some of you. So it could be like when you feel like you're being shamed or when you feel like you're being or trying to be vulnerable, what is it that comes up that makes you, you know, bring your guard up again? Um, because with this eclipse, it's going to be very important to do that, to pay attention to what is triggering you um, and how you choose to operate on an emotional level, as well as learning to understand uh, what is it that is actually triggering you, as well as what is it that you're choosing to ignore or to not pay attention or to let slide that is keeping you from progress, okay? Okay. So let's get into the readings. Let's see what you can expect. We're going to begin here with Aries. Obviously, it's Aries season. Also, keeping in mind, we have the North Node in Aries. So massive transformation for you, Aries, out there. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. There is a lot of transformation that is going to be happening in your life. Um, also, this eclipse, we're going to be having Chiron in Aries as well, which is the wounded healer. So again, connected to childhood traumas triggers things that created you or made you who you are and made you as volatile and powerful and strong as you are but it is at this point in time necessary for you to heal that so that you can be okay into tapping into your vulnerable side into who you truly are okay all right let's see what you can expect for this month of april 2024 aries sun moon rising venus I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, ascended masters, please step forward and guide us. Allow us to see, hear, sense, see, and receive the messages loud and clearly. Here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of April 2024. What are the changes? What can they expect for this month? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go, Aries. We have the Justice card. We have the Hierophant. We have the Nine of Cups. Wow. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Wow. Very interesting, Aries. So what I see is, again, the balancing, the, the restoring of balance here. Um, I see a lot of you guys in the month of April erratically, and I say erratically because I feel like it has a lot to do with the solar eclipse you're going to be experiencing, but... For a lot of you guys, you are almost acting based on instinct. And for a lot of you guys, there is a different perspective that's changing here. So as an example, what's coming up is those of you guys that were very adamant about monogamous relationships or even marriage, um, if you felt at some point in time that you just didn't want that or that you were not willing to embrace that, 
I feel like this eclipse is leading you up to understanding that a lot of those triggers, a lot of those fears come from your experience in the past, whether it was childhood traumas or whether it was whatever it is that you experience at this point in time, what they're showing me is almost this complete transformation that's happening within you where you're realizing, you know what, maybe this is something that I want. And maybe the rebellious aspect to that has more to do with defense mechanism and you're no longer vibrating from that. So it's almost like the universe is pushing you um, to really challenge yourself. And it's almost like you guys are finding yourself all over again um, with the justice card and the hierophant nine of cups. For some of you guys, there is marriage in the horizon. For others of you, it could be that you have your sights or that you know exactly who it is that you want at this point in time. There's a higher elevation of commitment here that's happening for a lot of you guys. And because we do have the Knight of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles, for some of you guys, it could be a person that you've been dealing with for a very long time. Um, for others of you, there is wish fulfillment that is going to be experienced not only in the month of April, but for the remainder of the year. There is a lot of stability that's coming through. For some of you guys, this could be financial uh, prosperity. This is uh, opportunities that open up for you. This is you really stepping into your power and really uh, almost, it's almost like collecting what you're deserving of. Um, and I am hearing for a lot of you guys, you are giving yourself the opportunity to actually be happy. So again, that in the past you felt like there were certain things that were just not meant for you or maybe you felt like this is not for me uh there is a massive transformation that's happening where you're realizing yes you are worthy yes you do deserve success yes you deserve to be happy yes you deserve whatever it is that you want it's almost like you are being shown the universe or the world in a very different way um, and it has more to do with what you can expect for the next coming year. So it's almost like you're starting to build on a solid foundation. And that solid foundation has a lot to do with you taking self-responsibility or even taking your power back and making moves to what is best for you. No longer vibrating from making decisions or taking steps that you felt was what you were being pushed to do. No, this time you're making decisions to what is best for Aries. So very powerful energy here, Aries. All right, moving on here, we're going towards um, Taurus. Let's see what Taurus can expect. I do want to let you Taurus know that this eclipse is going to bring to you guys a lot of uh, getting or letting go of your self-indulgence so for some of you guys this could be uh having to do with like what is it that you're doing in in excess um uh, that is corrupting your vibration uh what is it that you need to give up and for some of you guys health issues may be coming up a little bit but it's because there is an importance of maintaining balance in your life um, so again, it could have to do with self-indulging, whether it's, it could be as simplistic as maybe like you're, you know, buying or shopping unnecessarily for others of you. It could be as massive as like drinking, eating habits, uh, even sex type of thing, because it is a very physical aspect. So anything that has to do with the physical is coming to the forefront. Um, so you guys can definitely expect uh, to see certain things come up where it's like you're being forced to acknowledge maybe this is something that I shouldn't be doing or maybe this is something I need to take care of right now uh, so that I can better myself and get yourself to your highest vibration, Taurus. All right, let's see what is coming forth for Taurus. What you can expect for the month of April 2024, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what is coming for you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, here we go, Taurus. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the Hierophant, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. So I do see people from the past coming back around. For some of you guys, maybe even like if you're dealing with an ex-partner or an ex-baby mama, baby daddy, uh, for some of you guys, it's almost like feeling like you guys are starting to actually communicate. <laughs> uh, so there's like 
there's an aspect to that ending cycle, but also like healing type of energy where you guys can look past whatever happened and basically make who is a priority a priority. So like, again, if there's a baby mama, baby daddy, uh, basically thinking of, you know, the, the highest good for the children. Um, but I definitely do see you guys letting go of certain old patterns or old behaviors for a lot of you guys. It's like you are opening yourself up. And for a lot of you guys, it's like you're and travels involved here for some of you guys as well. It's almost like you are opening up um, and giving yourself the opportunity to experience life in a very different way or through different eyes. Um, there is definitely a walking towards more stability. I do see more growth. For some of you guys, this could be uh, collecting some money. For some of you guys, it could be um, getting a getting a higher promotion. For others of you guys, I do see that there is almost this possibility that shows up sometime in the month of April where you're being challenged. Do you want to be comfortable or do you want to keep pushing and expanding? And for some of you guys, it's making the decision to walk away from a old job or a old position to want better or to go towards something better because I do see an opportunity coming in for you guys at the end of the month that is going to bring to you much more stability, much more finances or more opportunity for you guys. Okay. All right, my lovelies, let's move on here. Let's see what's going on here with Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, for you guys, this eclipse, this solar eclipse has a lot to do with stop talking to people uh, who bring a lot of disharmony to your life. Uh, this is being more proactive around the people that you choose to bring yourself around. This is all about boundaries for you, Gemini. So you're going to be experiencing themes that have to do with Gemini's. i sorry, Gemini's. That has to do with boundaries. So for some of you guys, it could be like you start to experience being challenged with friends, with family members, with relatives, uh, or people in your social circle that maybe push you a little bit or are really kind of like making it very obvious that they have no boundaries. And it's it's important for you to maintain that or to even if you haven't created boundaries in the past, you will start to create boundaries. Why? Because you no longer want to be disharmonized. You want to find the balance in your life. You're going to notice, I feel like it, it's almost like it's really standing out. Uh, the people that bring or have a tendency of bringing a lot of chaos into your life, like you're no longer wanting to attach yourself to that. So I see you guys really creating boundaries. For some of you guys, it's boundaries that maybe loved ones or people around you are just not used to that may take offense to it. However, I feel like you guys are choosing yourself. So definitely work on those boundaries. If you feel like people are really crossing the line or pushing you, uh, speak up for yourself, Gemini, okay? All right, let's see what you can expect for the month of April, 2024. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's coming for Gemini's for this month with this crazy eclipse that's happening <laughs> here we go gemini all right your first card here is the king of wands the tower the emperor wow the ace of wands the seven of cups and the ace of cups okay so i see for a lot of you guys there is a lot of things that are going to be unfolding in your life and this could be in different aspects this could be career wise this could be family wise this could be the home life where it's almost a feeling of like complete massive change for some of you guys. So it could be that for some of you guys, you're changing location, you're moving. For others, it could be that people around you um, are, you know, going through this massive transformation. And it's almost like you're feeling a bit challenged in the sense of feeling like people are pulling the rug from under you. Uh, so it has something to do with like, what you consider your stability, what you consider your fundamental, right? Uh, think of it as, you know, you, as an example, you live in your home and you live with roommates and all of a sudden they are deciding to move away. They're deciding to go to a different country, that type of energy. Or for others of you it could be your children that are wanting to do or start their own life. It's, there's a massive transformation that's happening here. Uh, for a lot of you guys, though, I really want to emphasize it is very crucial and important not to resist these changes, Gemini. It's almost like 
think of it as the eclipse is really propelling you towards your future, towards what your destiny truly is. And within this, uh, almost within this challenge of what you feel comfortable or how you felt comfortable up until now is going to be challenged. But the reason for this is because it is necessary for you to continue growing. So some of you guys, you feel stagnant. For others of you, like you just really haven't been focusing on growth or advancement, that's not going to be like, that's not going to be a thing no more. It's almost like you're being forced to step out of your comfort zone to really create a different type of lifestyle or a different type of mentality that is going to set you on the path towards not only growth and advancement and a lot of opportunities coming for you, but also when it comes to love and romance, there is a connection or some type of connection that is going to be unfolding in the month of April that you can actually see unfold. I feel like it's not going to be rapid, but it's definitely something that you can expect sometime around the month of April or the end of April, beginning of May, where a lot of changes are happening, but these changes are really pushing you towards the right direction towards the right people, towards the right circumstances, towards the right person. Okay, so beautiful energy here. Moving on, let's see what's going on here with Cancer. Now for you Cancers, this eclipse is going to highlight a lot to do with the home environment. Uh, for a lot of you guys, it's almost like paying attention to who you allow in your domain. Who do you allow to come into your home? Who and from those people that you're allowing, are they bringing peace and harmony or are they just triggering your emotional aspect where you feel very imbalanced, where you feel very uncertain? It's about paying attention to that uh, cancer. Also in the, uh, in the coming uh, weeks or even months after the eclipse, you're also going to be dealing with a father, uh, father figure theme. So for some of you guys, it could be having to deal with your father figure or with your father, um, it could be dealing with a husband if he's, you know, the father of your children. There is a theme that has to do with father figures that is going to be unfolding as well. So you can definitely, um, again, it's about paying attention to who you allow in, uh, who. It's almost like you're making an assessment of your environment and who are the people that bring balance and make you feel protected and make you feel loved and who are the ones that make you feel challenged or even threatened or uncomfortable and those are the ones that slowly but surely you will have the tenacity and the power uh, to choose to either walk away from or to close that door and not allow them to disturb your inner peace cancer. All right, let's see what you can expect for this month of April 2024. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Cancers. Okay, here we go, Cancer. We're starting off here with the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Empress with the Hermit card. Okay. So what they're telling me immediately is there is an opportunity or something that you were expecting to pan out that didn't necessarily pan out the way you want it. So for some of you guys, this could have been like an opportunity that you've seen. For others of you, it could be connected to relationships and partnerships where you felt like things were going good and then all of a sudden, like things started to fall apart. But what they're telling you is there's a revisiting of this type of energy where it's going to become much more solid. It's almost coming to me as a surprise. So for some of you guys, it could be like, again, if it was a relationship and there was like a falling out or there's been difficulty behind it, you're finally coming together and talking about it and communicating and really finding the balance within that miscommunication that it's going to bring you guys much more closer to each other. Um, now for others of you, this could be, like I said, an opportunity you felt kind of slipped out of your hands and there is a bit of disappointment there, but what the spirit, what spirit is telling me right now is that whatever you thought didn't pan out is coming back around and it's really manifesting for you cancer. So again, do not be surprised if in the month of April, there is a beautiful manifestation for you that comes through. That is something that has been very dear to your heart and you've been waiting or wanting to hear 
uh, or see that it actually comes through for you. And this month is definitely going to bring to you not only that situation, but the, the stability behind it. There is clarity that's coming through. There is, uh, you know, let's move forward and move forward with massive, you know, steps forward, um, really picking up momentum here. So again, have faith and trust that everything's going to work out in your favor, Cancer. All right, moving on here. We're going to go now with Leo. Let me... All right, so for Leos, you are, this eclipse has a lot to do with old forms of communication. So it's, you're going to be almost challenged or experiencing the having to need to let go of old behaviors or old patterns that have kept you uh, either stuck or in a stagnant situation where you're not really growing. Uh, so it's this could be in different aspects of your life, right? But the one that comes through for me the most is the feeling of like being unhappy in a certain aspect of your life, but you're not necessarily sure why that is. Um, and I feel like this eclipse is going to really highlight uh, a certain area in your life where you perhaps weren't that aware that was having such a massive impact in your growth or in the stump of your growth. And I feel like it's illumination. It is the self-actualization, right? It's realizing, okay, if it comes to love, as an example, um, you know, I just haven't been able to stabilize a connection or whatever. And it's realizing, well, it has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, um, I'm kind of hopeful, but also waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's old patterns that no longer serve you and you're realizing that Leo and you are basically grabbing the bull by its horns and deciding you're facing it or you're dealing with it so that the outcome can be to the best of your interest. So again, it's letting go of old habits or old behaviors for some of you guys. Whatever habits or behaviors have kept you from progress or moving forward is something that you're going to be giving up this month for sure. All right, let's see what's happening for Leo's. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2024. April 2024. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what you guys can expect. If you guys like this video, like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, Leo, here we go. Let's see what is unfolding. All right, so again, it is what they're showing me here is almost like being forced to see uh, what's been hindering our progress. It's coming to the realization of what's been keeping us from expanding or from fulfilling our happiness or what we consider our happiness to be. It's almost like you are, I see a lot of you guys becoming self-aware, okay? So this could be a shadow aspect that you're being challenged right now. It's almost like realizing maybe it's not always about other people or how other people treat me or where they messed up. It's kind of like, oh shit, I'm just realizing, you know, yeah, I've been messing up by thinking this way or I've messed up by holding back and not speaking my truth or things like that. I feel like it's coming up. And the reason for this is because that cycle of self-sabotaging is no longer accepted for you, Leo. It is about understanding, yes, you're worthy of happiness, you're worthy of success, you're, ha you're worthy of whatever it is that you're trying to manifest in your life, but it's almost like you're taking self-responsibility and you're going to make it happen. So it's realizing where we've been wrong and it's also accepting, yes, I'm okay with wanting happiness, yes, I'm okay with wanting a long-term relationship, yes, I'm okay, and you don't have that shadow aspect to you saying, yes, you want it, but in the past, this has happened. It's almost like you're starting over. You're taking a leap of faith and you're basically, like I said, grabbing the bull by its horns and deciding I am the one that decides what my destiny is type of energy. So very empowering type of energy that is definitely happening here for you guys, Leo. All right, moving on. Let's see what is going on with Virgo. So Virgo's off the bat. This eclipse is highlighting for a lot of you guys, uh, finances and resources. What is it that you, what is, or, or highlighting, what is it that you're spending most of your money on? Um, 
do you emotionally spend your money? <laughs> uh, when you're sad, when you're happy, when you're excited, or depressed, are you shopping? Are you doing things that you shouldn't be doing? Uh, it's about paying attention to your finances and your resources and your saving type of energy. So again, for a lot of you guys, this has a lot to do with, um, you know, understanding like, are you acting or reacting based on emotion? And in doing so, this is keeping you from really taking major momentum and leaps. Uh, so it's almost like self-acknowledging, yes, this is where I need to work at so that I can better my financial stability, but also so that I can attain my goals and my aspirations at a quicker pace versus slow and steady. So what I'm seeing is almost like realizing, yes, I'm spending too much on this. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should start saving because I'm trying to get a car, I'm trying to get the house or whatever, and you're very capable of doing it, it's about discipline. So for a lot of you guys, it's it, highlighting the finances and your resources and what you do with that money. Um, is it bettering you? Is it helping you progress? Or is it keeping you like stuck and burdened type of energy? So for a lot of you guys, money is definitely going to be something major this month for you guys, okay? All right. And also because it is connected to your balance and harmony, it's about figuring out what's helping and what's hindering. And whatever's hindering, you're letting go of that and you're becoming more refocused. All right, let's see what is coming towards Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2024. Here we go, Virgo. All right, your first card here is the Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords, the Chariot, the Two of Cups, the Full Card, and the Nine of Wands. So we did speak about finances, right? But what they're showing me here with the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Swords and the Chariot, I want you guys to pay very close attention, Virgo, this month spe specifically. I want you guys to pay attention to where is it that your mind gets triggered, when it comes to things moving forward in a very positive way, what is it that triggers you that starts to create this anxiety and this stress over whatever situation is going very smoothly, okay? So what I mean by that is what they're showing me is almost like you have this recurring cycle that happens where you have a tendency of having such desire to be in control of situations, circumstances, or even people that whenever you feel uncertain or whenever someone makes you feel uncertain, there is this like snowball effect that happens where you're constantly scrutinizing, uh, overthinking, overanalyzing that you create this stagnant energy that is not even there. So it's about being in control of your way of thinking, Virgo, uh, being in control of your emotions as well. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are your mind is being challenged based on emotion. And here's the thing, when it comes to relationships or partnerships, we really don't have control over that, um, at least not in the emotional aspect. So what I mean by that is if you're falling for someone, you can't help but fall for them. And instead of analyzing and scrutinizing everything, you have to learn to be more present and in the moment. So again, it's almost like you start to feel, and this is what's coming through for some of you guys, um, you're starting to feel like you're falling for someone or you're liking someone, but then your wall comes up and then you start to scrutinize everything about them and what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. It's almost like you're trying to psych yourself out of that feeling of falling for someone. Uh, and this can be in any aspect. This could be in career. This could be in finances where things are going good and then you start to psych yourself out and it comes down to feeling that you don't deserve it or because you haven't experienced it, you think that you're not worthy of it. So again, it is very, very important for this month for you guys to learn to control your mind and to keep your emotions balanced. And the only way to do that is remind yourself, you know, even when there is uncertainty, just remind yourself, you know what? I don't have control over this situation at this point in time. And the best thing that I can do is trust myself and trust this process. Take a deep breath and let it ride. OK, sometimes we just need to learn to be present and in the moment. I assure you that if you do this, you're going to experience massive change and transformation, not only for the month of April, but for the remaining of the year, because you're going to learn how to 
silence that busy mind of yours. <laughs> And it's something that is going to be very important. And like I said, I feel like for a lot of you guys, wherever you felt like there's blockages, it has more to do with your way of thinking or what you tell yourself mentally that creates those blockages that in the beginning were not even there. So pay attention to that Virgo. All right, moving on here. We are going now with Libra. Libras, my lovely Libras, we just experienced the lunar eclipse in your sign. And now with the solar eclipse, we are experiencing the solar eclipse in Aries, North Node, South Node is in your sign, Libra. So what does this mean for a lot of you guys? It has everything to do with disharmony. What do I mean by that? Libras, I know that you guys like to think of yourselves as very balanced, but you guys are quite the opposite of that. Why? Because you are here on this lifetime or in this lifetime to find that balance. That is that is one of your soul's purpose to find balance. So obviously you're going to come into this life very disharmonized. So for a lot of you guys with the South Node, it is about learning about balance and letting go of past relationships, Libra. It is... Even if you if you tell me, Pinky, I've been single for like six, seven years, like I haven't dated anyone. Yeah, because you're still holding on to the past. No matter how you break it down, that's what it is. So this solar eclipse, you're going to be pushed, almost forced to let go of past relationships or relationships that really created a lot of like massive transformation, whether it was through trauma or difficulty. It is learning to detach yourself from that. It is about accepting, yes, this happened. I learned from it and now I'm growing from it instead of allowing that to be the reason what keeps you so guarded or what keeps you so, you know, keeping love at arm's length type of thing. It's like you're reacting based on fear and what they're telling you is let go of all that shit. Let go, let go of the past, let go of past relationships. If you're a Libra that you're dealing with the next partner on and off, let go of that. And you're going to be shown that you need to let go of that. And being shown sometimes is not the easiest to deal with, but it is important. Wherever you have, um, wherever you have Libra in your, whatever house you have Libra in, in your birth chart, that's basically the house that you're going to be those themes are what you're going to be uh, needing to let go of, Libra. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on for this month for you, April, or for you, Libras, in the month of April 2024. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on here with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2024. Okay, here we go, Libra. All right, Libra, we're starting off here with the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the High Priestess, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Emperor card. Absolutely everything to do with balance, Libra. Five of Swords is indicating to me, again, being forced almost to see people really for who they are or situations. It's almost like you're no longer being allowed to be Delulu about certain things. And wherever you're feeling that people are not appreciating you or that people are not really acknowledging you, almost taking you for granted, that's your intuition kicking in and letting you know, hey, in order for you to bring balance and harmony into your life, Libra, it starts with how you feel you deserve to be treated. So if you know that someone's been mistreating you or taking you for granted or just not appreciating you, and you know that you go above and beyond for them, you're going to be forced to see how horrible they're really treating you because this is the universe way of showing you you need to keep it fucking pushing. Stop entertaining this energy or stop allowing people to treat you this way. In doing this, you're going to experience massive transformation, not only in connection with your relationships, Libra, but also with your finances. Because finances has everything to do with what we believe we're worthy of. Okay? Very, very powerful energy here, Libra. All right, my lovelies. Moving on here, we're going now with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For you, Scorpios, this solar eclipse is all to do with... Um, Secret behaviors and patterns of obsession, 
needing to let go of that. The bigger question here for you, Scorpios, is what is it that you do, right, that undermines your forward momentum? What do I mean by this? What is it that you do in secrecy or what is it that you do that you keep to yourself or what is it that you're not sharing with the world that instead of serving you or helping you is actually hindering your growth and your advancement, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in finances, whether it's with your family? What is it that you have a tendency of doing in secrecy that instead of helping you, it's actually hindering you? So as an example, if what you do and, and secrets, it doesn't have to be like just a massive secret, right? It has to do with what you do with yourself. Okay. So what comes to mind is an ex as an example, if you have a tendency of like smoking a bowl before you go to work or, you know, um, I don't know, having a few cigarettes before going to work or whatever, is this helping you? And if it's not, there is a habit that needs to be formed, meaning you need to let go of old habits that don't help you grow in order to construct new habits that are going to really keep you motivated and focused and that is going to help your growth, okay? And again, it could be as simplistic as what I just said, or it could be as deviant and dark as like having a tendency of like, uh, as an example of secrecy, um, having multiple partners because you just don't allow people to connect with you on a deeper level because you're scared of being hurt. And instead of you doing yourself a favor and not getting hurt, meaning not getting emotionally invested, is it hindering? Obviously it is because at the end of the day, you probably are experiencing right now the feeling of being misunderstood or being lonely. But it's like, how can you feel that way if you do everything possible to not allow people to get close. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's about acknowledging that and changing that so that we can continue growing. All right, Scorpio, let's see what the cards have in store for you for this month of April, 2024. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April, 2024. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Scorpio. All right, we are starting <laughs> temperance, right? The Two of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the Strength card, and the Eight of Pentacles. It is about working on yourself, Scorpio. It is about finding the balance. And in finding the balance, it is understanding what is it that we're doing that keeps us blocked from what we truly, on a deeper level, desire and wish to have, obtain, or experience that we've convinced ourselves through our shadow side that it gives us strength and courage okay so what i mean by that is things that you have a tendency of doing because you were taught to do that in early childhood based on trauma that you had to be strong and you had to be powerful and maybe even secret secretive um you taught yourself that as a form of defense mechanism well now you're being forced to acknowledge yes you've been doing this and yes it's you know, survival mode and it's kept you strong and et cetera, et cetera, but it's keeping you unhappy. So we need to stop doing that. And we need to learn from that and acknowledge this is basically these defense mechanisms came from survival mode, but you're no longer in survival mode. You can now as an adult, take care of yourself and look out for yourself. And in doing this, what is it that you truly want and desire that you have chosen in the past to keep yourself guarded or protected because you didn't want to get hurt, but at the same time, you want to experience whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest in your life. So again, it is about what is it that we're doing, right, to ourselves. That instead of helping us, it's actually keeping us from experiencing what we truly want and desire. All right, my lovelies, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Sagittarius. All right. Sagittarius, this solar eclipse is bringing up the ability to step away from things that no longer resonate with you or that keep you from moving forward or that keep you from progressing. A lot of you guys, you're going to be realizing in this eclipse, uh, especially those of you guys that are in a partnership or in a relationship, you're going to come to the realization 
that a lot of your way of thinking has a lot to do not so much because of you but because of the people that you surround yourself with or with the partner that you have so it's almost realizing their toxic traits and understanding this is their way of thinking and this is my way of thinking and if it doesn't collide if it doesn't make sense i'm no longer identifying with that state of mind so for a lot of you guys it's a lot of revelations that are happening this month for you um, and again, it's the realizing um, that the reason you've had this way of thinking or this way of acting or being has a lot to do because you surrounded yourself with specific type of people or that you've chosen specific type of partners that instead of helping you grow, stump your growth. Okay, so it's about self-actualization is what's coming through. All right, let's see what you guys can expect for this month of April 2024. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can you expect for this month of April 2024? All right, here we go, Sagis. All right, your first card here is the Magician, the King of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Ace of Swords. It's realizing. It's coming to the realization. It's understanding that you have more power than you ever thought you did. It is if you've been almost forced or treated like you are a victim or you gone to the beat of other people, you're no longer doing that. You're realizing, you know what, I have so much fucking power than I give myself credit for. And if it's just not vibing with you anymore, if it just doesn't make sense to you no more, you're walking away from that. And in walking away, what you're doing is you're kind of freeing yourself from the cage that you've mentally put yourself in. And through this growth and through this transformation or even illumination, because obviously eclipses bring illumination, you are freeing yourself to understand the power you truly possess. With the chariot and the ace of swords, it is almost like a spiritual download that's going to hit you. And you're going to be like, what? Like, this is not working anymore. And this is the direction I want to take. And it, for a lot of you guys, it's the realization that you do have a choice in life. Um, and I know that that seems, you know, anyone can say like, how did I not know that? It's almost like your old way of thinking is no longer, no longer making sense to who you are now. And realizing that and realizing the power that you actually have, you are executing your power by choosing yourself. Very powerful energy here, Sagittarius. All right, moving on here to Capricorn. So Capricorn, this eclipse is bringing to you a focus that has a lot to do with going back in time. Uh, for some of you guys, towards mother figure themes, everything to do with childhood. Um, it's almost like what you were taught in your early childhood, this could be beliefs, this could be practices, this could be habits, um, that now you're realizing are holding you back. It's a very freeing eclipse for you, Capricorn. So if the way your way of thinking up until now, had, based on that, has a lot to do with how you were raised, it's almost like you are realizing this is no longer working for me or this, I don't believe in this anymore. And you're freeing yourself from that. And by freeing yourself from that, you're no longer having attachments that are connected to responsibility of others. And you're making basically walking the beat to your own drum <laughs> or walking the, you know, going to the beat of your own drum, Capricorn. And I know a lot of you Capricorns are going to be like, what? I've always done whatever I wanted. Like, no, um, Saturn as your ruling planet has like we from birth in our integrated what our belief system should be and what to us is a foundation. And sometimes we have a tendency almost like enslaving ourselves or our loyalty to people, situations or circumstances just because, you know, there are family members, there are partner, there are whatever, whatever you want to say. Um, it's almost like you have this higher feeling of responsibility that many don't understand that you have a tendency of like putting other people or their needs before your own and this eclipse is illuminating you know what that old way of working is not working out no more that way that old way of thinking 
is not going to cut it no more. So you guys are healing a lot of traumas from childhood, but also you're freeing yourself from understanding that everyone in this life is responsible for themselves. So it's almost like, okay, I'm no longer going to be thinking of my partner or I'm no longer going to be thinking about what my dad or what my mom wants. It, it, it's basically coming down to what is it your past beliefs, habits, um, way of thinking that's kept you from being able to move forward, from being able to progress, from being able to expand, okay? So this is being illuminated for a lot of you guys and it's a very, very powerful and empowering type of energy because you're not only freeing yourself from like, old way of thinking that is not working for you but it's also about understanding that you have the power within you to precondition or to recondition yourself to a new way of believing a new way of thinking a new way of being okay all right capricorn let's see what you can expect for this month of april 2024 Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What you can expect for this coming month of April, 2024. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of April, 2024. Okay, here we go. Capricorn. So you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit, the Knight of Swords, and the Two of Wands. So there is, again, like I mentioned, a connection to the past, a connection to your old home, your family dynamic, uh, what you were taught in the past, but also uh, for a lot of you guys, it is going or releasing certain ways of thinking when it comes to relationships that have, instead of helped you, have affected you. And it's almost like your luck is about to make a massive change, a massive transformation. You guys are on the upswing of good luck. Uh, and what they're showing me here is faded events are happening for you guys. So for those of you guys, Capricorns out there that are single, do not be surprised if within this time frame you recently met someone or within after, a few weeks after uh, this solar eclipse, even months after, uh, there's going to be faded connections coming into your life that are going to play out and have a very important role in your life for the next coming years. It's almost like you're being guided right now, Capricorn. Um, a lot of financial stability, a lot of opportunities coming your way, but most importantly, what I see here is almost the reciprocation of your type of love or your type of energy. So what I mean by that is in past relationships, if you felt like you were the one that put so much effort and it was never really reciprocated, that is no longer going to be the issue here. What I'm seeing is, again, faded connections, faded relationships coming about for a lot of you Capricorns. And it's almost like the universe is putting you around people that are really going to help you thrive and understand that, yes, you do deserve to be thought of Capricorn. Yes, you do deserve to be treated. Yes, you deserve, even though you have a tendency of doing that for everyone else, right? <laughs> it is about almost the universe returning the love that you give to those you love. Um, so this is putting you at the right place at the right time with the right people or with the right partner. And it's happening rather quickly for a lot of you Capricorns. All right. Amazing, amazing energy for my Cappies. Okay. Moving on here with Aquarius. So Aquarius, a lot of you guys are going to be revisiting the past as well. It has a lot to do with, um, for some of you guys, even returning to your old neighborhoods or dealing with people from the past that you kind of grew up with, all of this is going to be unfolding with this solar eclipse. Um, here's the thing, though. What I see for you guys is almost like you're going to be forced to see certain patterns or certain belief systems um, that really challenge how you viewed yourself. And I say you viewed yourself because that's no longer how you're going to see yourself. So it's almost this energy of like, you know, if in the past you kind of, based on experience, based on your childhood, um, you know, traumas or whatever it is that you've experienced in life, it's almost like you kind of created this way of thinking of yourself, right? And this is going to be challenged through this, uh, sorry, through this solar eclipse. 
Uh, because remember, we have Chiron in Aries, which is the wounded healer. So it's about returning to the past, but also realizing this way of thinking instead of helping me has kind of hindered my growth. And it has not so much to do with other people. It has more to do with your belief system about yourself, Aquarius. So what I can um, give you guys as an example is if you you know, in your childhood, you grew up with like a lot of, uh, as an example, a lot of like female energy, right? A lot of mother figures, you know, single mothers, etc. cetera. Um, you had this perspective about women, right? And growing up, you kind of trained yourself to see things in a certain way where you're realizing now that's not working for me. And I don't want this to be like, I don't want to be a reflection of who or their experiences. Um, now for guys on the other aspect could be like an example, not being raised with a father figure or something like that. And really wanting to be like massively forced into your kid's life because you have that fear that they're not going to have, you know, the connection that you didn't have. Um, and you're also realizing, you know, but I'm still holding on to this toxic situation or this toxic relationship because I'm trying to give them something better. But you're realizing instead of helping, you're kind of hindering the child because they're growing up in a toxic environment. So it's it's changing your way, your perspective about what it was in the past is no longer what is now, but it has more to do with yourself. It has more to do with how you view yourself or how you viewed yourself in the past and you're no longer seeing yourself that way. Why? Because you're stepping into your higher version, Aquarius. You're stepping into a higher potential. You're stepping into your destiny. All right. All right. Let's see what Aquarius could expect for this month of April, 2024. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For a lot of you, Aquarius, it's about self-reflection, right? It's about revisiting the past or seeing things from the perspective of where you're at now, looking back and realizing, you know what, uh, am I on the right path? Am I thinking or doing things that instead of help me are kind of like fucking me over and you're making the decision to make that way or that habit or that state of mind change and you're seeing things from a very different perspective. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can you expect for this month of April 2024? Here we go. All right, Aquarius, we have the Hermit. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Four of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ace of Cups. For a lot of you guys, uh, opportunities when it comes to love and romance, stabilizing a connection. For others of you guys, it is wanting to revisit a past relationship. Uh, perhaps a person that you felt kind of, um, maybe for some of you guys could have been what separated could have been the situation of having different ways of seeing things or a different mentality or a different way of seeing how a relationship should be. And it's almost like you're revisiting or being forced to revisit that situation and see where it is that you were wrong or where it was that your way of thinking kind of hindered instead of helped the relationship. But what I do see here is enlightenment when it comes to realizing this is the aspect or this part of myself I need to work on because I want to be a better version of myself. I want to be a better partner. I want to be a better mother, a better father. I want to be a better partner, okay? So it is almost this, this energy of really taking self-accountability, but more than that, it is realizing that you deserve to be happy, that you deserve, um, that you're the only one in control of your destiny. And based on the actions that you take, that in the past you've taken, didn't help. It's almost like a realization and getting back on track, getting back towards the destiny that you're meant to walk on, Aquarius. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Finally here with my lovely Pisces. Let's see what you guys can expect. All right, Pisces, so for this eclipse, this solar eclipse, you're being affected on a financial or belief system level. So what do I mean by this? Our belief system or how we believe in ourselves or our belief system has a lot to do with 
finances, right? Because if you don't feel worthy, then you're never going to really be able to see yourself in a high ranking position. It has everything to do with, again, like I said, your financial aspect or your belief system is what is being challenged right now with this eclipse. Um, what's your fundamental belief and your, what's your fundamental belief system and what are you willing to put up with and what you're no longer willing to put up with? What is it that you're no longer wanting to deal with? What is it that you've outgrown? Um, it has to do with you, um, it has to do with, with basically what it comes down to is how you see yourself. And I feel like for a lot of Pisces, it's almost like you're being challenged right now. It's like the universe is teaching you, you know what, Pisces, you've been running off on, you know, on empty for this long and your car is about to like completely stop. What is it that you're going to do? Is your belief system based on your belief system, is it encouraging you to stay in that car and hope for the best? Or is that keeping you from progress? Do you need to get your ass off that car and start walking or start doing something that you're going to be able to get gas in the car? You get what I'm saying? So it is about ultimately it comes down to what is it that you believe about yourself? So for a lot of you guys, you're being challenged in different aspects. Okay. Keep in mind, depending on where your placement of Pisces is, um, but this is ultimately what it's almost like challenging yourself to know that you're worthy, that you're deserving and that you shouldn't be putting up with shit that you shouldn't be putting up with, whether it's relationships, partnerships, connections, um, whether it's you being comfortable, whether it's you saying, you know what, it's going to be what it's going to be instead of being proactive and taking action and taking your power back, Pisces, at what point in time did you stop? At what point in time did you give up that power? Um, so it's about taking self accountability, but also understanding that whatever it is that you feel or don't feel worthy of is going to be a true reflection of what you're going to experience for the next coming six months. Because keep in mind, solar eclipse or any eclipse really uh, is a, you know, it's it, it's a process that may affect us for the next coming six to eight months. So again, it is about what changes are we doing now? Are you comfortable if you're comfortable, even though you're not in a very good position, but you're comfortable, um, if you don't get yourself out of that comfortability, it's going to get really hard. So again, it's about being proactive in knowing what it is that you need to take action on Pisces. All right, let's see what you can expect for this month of April, 2024, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And again, what you're no longer willing to put up with. This could be relationships, partnerships, friendships, family members, crossing certain boundaries. You know, what is it that you're going to continue being a yes man or yes woman to? And what is it that you're going to be like a oh, hell fucking no and not anymore? Not on my clock, not on my time. Uh, pay attention to that, Pisces. All right. What is coming through for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus for the month of April 2024? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. Oh, we got cards trying to fly out. All right, Pisces, here we go. Your first card is Eight of Cups. It is about you're walking away from a perspective that you had about yourself. And this is going to help you understand that yes, you are deserving and yes, you are worthy of better. And it's okay to want better. And it's okay to want to move on. And it's okay to want to grow. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes necessary. Even if it means walking away from certain situations, persons, circumstances. Three of Wands. You're walking towards expansion. You're walking towards growth and success. The chariot. So again, it is about making the decision. See, I see you guys very much, especially because you guys have Saturn in your sign. Um, Saturn is all about discipline. It is all about kind of like we're, being forced to see the realities of life, right? Wherever we've been wearing rose colored glasses, that shit shatters and breaks with Saturn being there. And it's like, listen, Pisces, this is the reality of it. Okay. And this is what it is. And based on that, you need to find the balance. You have to find the balance to be able to continue growing and expanding or to experience whatever it is you're trying to experience in your life. However, 
with the moon card, it is about finding the balance and no longer being delusional and taking self-accountability or self-responsibility or taking action towards making your dreams and what you're worthy of happen. It is about being unapologetic and being fierce into making your aspirations, your dreams, your hopes, making them happen. It is about no longer sitting back and waiting for the universe to do things for you. No, with Saturn's energy there, especially with Aries right now in the eclipse, it is about making shit happen, Pisces. What is it that you are, you've been ignoring? What is it that you haven't really been proactive in, but you know that at this point in time, it's become a fucking headache and you need to take care of it. That's what it is. That's what this month is for you. And it is extremely liberating because the moment you start to make those changes, the moment you start actually being proactive or being proactive, um, the moment you start doing that, you start to empower yourself. You start to grow. You start to believe in yourself. You start to know you are worthy and the universe will only echo that back, bringing to you more blessings, more opportunities, and more advancement. And the pace picks up. All right, my lovelies. All right. I hope that you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I wish you guys the very best. Make sure that you guys are ready to, you know, really receive this solar eclipse. It's going to be very massive. It's going to be very transformational. It is about healing certain aspects of ourselves and having the tenacity, the power, the belief, and the confidence to know that there is nothing you cannot make happen in your life. But it is also about knowing that it takes us to realize that. All right. All right, my lovelies, I wish you guys the very best. I will see you guys soon. And like I said, subscribe so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. We have spell work coming through for you guys as well. So stay tuned to that. I'll see you guys. Bye.